Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs looking at your recent past, your current energy and your immediate future answering the question what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. As I do in all of my readings I've pulled the overall energy and clarified those messages as well as the overall theme for the reading which we'll jump into in just a second but I still have the tarot deck we'll be using um, as well as the decks that I'll be using to close out the reading with in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember that these are general readings and they are not here to resonate fully for everyone, so they're not going to resonate fully for everyone. So please, please, please remember to take what does resonate and helps your personal situation and leave the rest. All right, Pisces, in your recent past, you have the Three of Swords with Shadow Work. So you've been working through some pretty painful energy. Um, I feel as if, I don't necessarily know if there was an event in your recent past that was painful, there could have been, or if this recent past was the like healing of something that had happened kind of further back. But I do feel as if there had been some deep healing that you had had to access in your recent past because of um, some pretty painful experience or experiences. Now in your current energy, you have the star with changes. The star is another energy of healing for me. And I feel as if because of that healing that you've done, um, you've changed a lot as a person. And whether or not you realize it or have recognized it in your reality yet, those changes are going to start to reflect in your reality. And I feel like if you haven't seen that, then you're definitely going to see that in your immediate future because you have the law of attraction with the three of pentacles. Now, when you break down the law of attraction at its most basic level, it's that your thoughts become your beliefs, become your actions, become your reality. We are, um, you know, we, ha we, we have a life that we have lived and experiences that we have had and beliefs that we have acquired through those experiences. And those beliefs about ourselves, such as being undeserving or unlovable or not good enough or not capable or thing, good things not being possible for us, we start to believe these things about ourselves in our reality, which then projects into our reality as truth. So we start to um, experience more of what we don't want. Now, when you go through the process of healing and diving into those beliefs and healing from situations that have created those beliefs, you allow yourself the space to shift those beliefs. So you heal relationships that made you feel unlovable and you start believing that you are lovable and you are deserving of good things in your life. And then when you start to, as that healing progresses, you start to literally experience these things unfold in your reality. That's what your immediate future is about because this three of pentacles is like the pieces falling into place and, and kind of watching the work that you have done unfold in a very positive way. Now the overall theme for the reading is luck is on your side. Now luck is interesting because we all have access to it. We all have access to luck, but not all of us um, utilize that access. In the book The Secret by Rhonda Byrne, she talks a lot about um, the law, I mean, it's a book about the law of attraction, so that's why I'm mentioning it in this reading. And one of the things that she talks about is, and it's kind of a silly example, but it's people who believe they will always get a parking spot, like a good parking spot. I don't know if you've ever met that person that just is like, oh, I'm gonna get a good parking spot. I always get a good parking spot. And then they do because they believe that, and then that belief reflects into their reality. Um, you can take that and you can apply it to greater scales. You can say, I always have the financial abundance that I need available to me. There are always solutions to every problem that I have. I am always accepting the love that I'm truly deserving of and not settling for anything less. You know, when we start to put in to the universe this reflection of these beliefs that we have about ourselves that we're deserving and capable of more, life starts to meet you there and you start to experience that in reality. So if you haven't yet, and you've just kind of been in this process of doing the work, just know that in your future, it's almost as if you start to see um, the progress like unfold in your reality. Because it's as above, so below, as within, so without. So as you start making changes within, as you start transforming as a person, and as your beliefs start transforming, your life starts to transform. And that's kind of what I feel is happening for you. It's, it's a pretty exciting reading. So let's start Pisces 
with your recent past. Let's get some deeper energy here. You have shadow work with the Three of Swords. What does Pisces need to know about their recent past? Shadow work with the Three of Swords. Woo! All right. This was a really tough energy to navigate. A lot of um, anxiety, fear, doubt, insecurity present in your recent past. Like I said, there was something here that was very 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 challenging in a lot of ways this is all in reverse and i feel as if you were kind of put into a situation where you had no other choice but to work through these things life is funny sometimes it puts us in situations where we have kind of no choice but to heal right um now i feel as if because of what you've been through in your life maybe not just in your recent past it almost feels as if you've lost this ability to believe that there is anything more for you, that there's anything um, greater available for you than just pain and heartbreak, which is kind of a, a sad energy. And I get why you feel that way. You know, when we go, when we have had such a, a difficult upbringing or we've been through just so many traumatic experiences, we start to believe that we're just kind of destined to experience that kind of reality. And you start to believe that, well, I'm just one of those people that's never going to be happy. And it kind of feels as if that is this energy that you've taken on due to the experiences that you've been through. But with the temperance in reverse, it almost feels as if the energy, or as if the universe is saying, just because you haven't experienced what you desire yet, it doesn't mean that you're not going to. It means that there's just some things that need to happen between then and now. And I feel like what that is, is where you're at currently, but we'll get there when we do. So let's pull a couple more for your recent past. A lot of self-doubt present in your past. And again, it feels as if this is self-doubt which is a pro that is a product of what it is that you've experienced. You know, when we, again, go through a lot of really not so great things in our life, we, we kind of start to carry this list, either subconsciously or consciously, of proof. And it's proof that we're not lovable, that we're not good enough, that we're not, that it's not possible for us to be happy. And we start to use that proof as like a weapon against our own happiness. And we start to say, you know, there's no way I can create better because look at all of this proof that I, that I can't, you know, there's no way I can be loved in the way that I desire because look at all of this proof that I have that makes that not possible. And what that does is it actually creates, um, a complete and total resistance to what the universe is trying to bring us because the universe is always trying to bring you bigger and better things now a lot of times we settle for less than what we deserve or we attract certain situations into our life because we don't we believe that um, we're not deserving of anything better and we keep ourselves kind of stuck in cycles because we don't know that we can experience more for ourselves. Now, when I talk about that, we have to, you know, one of the hardest aspects of the law of attraction is being able and willing to be honest with the role that you have played in your own suffering without adding shame to the story. Now, again, a lot of the reason you've come to believe that you're not deserving, that you're not capable, that you have this self-doubt is because of what you've experienced and your trauma and the things that you've been through is not your fault. But if you want things to change, you have to be willing to kind of face the pain associated with that so that you don't take on the beliefs of your trauma and allow those to be the foundation for your reality. Because if that's the case, if you take your traumatic relationships or your just traumatic upbringing in general and you have these beliefs of I'm not deserving and I'm not capable, again, going back to the basics of the law of attraction, thoughts become beliefs, become, be become actions, become reality, what you believe about yourself is going to be what you experience from that point forward. So being willing to kind of look at your past through the lens of healing and understanding how you can shift your beliefs in the direction of understanding that you are deserving and that you are capable is where a better reality is created for yourself. And whether or not you um, and I feel like that's kind of what you've been doing almost maybe 
not even being fully aware of the fact that that's what you've been doing. So this really is like deep shadow work that I feel you were experiencing in your recent past, some deep healing. Recent past for Pisces. Ooh, that's too many. Yeah, I don't like all those at once. It's overwhelming. Clear, concise messages for Pisces recent past. There we go. It's the same one as last time. Okay, because you had these feelings of self-doubt, there is also this energy of chasing what it is that How do I say this? Chasing, not attracting. Now we chase somebody, we chase a relationship, we chase and try to manipulate outcomes when we don't feel deserving of them and therefore we fear that they're never going to happen. And cha the underlying energy of chasing is fear and anything that we pursue out of fear is going to eventually crumble or run the other way. So a lot of times we don't realize, you know, when we experience a cycle of things always falling apart, like recurring loss or constant financial struggles or failed relationships, we start to, again, believe that, that, that this is proof that we're never going to have the things that we desire when instead we have to start looking at the deeper truths associated with why these things keep happening in our life and what is in our control to be able to change these things. And that is where the shadow work takes place as we start to look at, okay, where do I not feel deserving? Where do I not feel capable? Where do I not feel like the universe has my back? And we start to uncover the layers of our fear that has actually held us back the entire time. So what this past energy is for you is working through a lot of the painful situations, just kind of to summarize what I said, working through a lot of the painful situations that you have experienced in your life. Maybe there was one event, one painful event that kind of sparked this, um, this shadow work, but whether or not it was one event that you were focused on or many different events throughout your life, this shadow work was, was facing kind of the pain associated with these situations and healing from that so that you could tap into the limiting beliefs associated with the pain that has been caused. Um, I'm not going to lie, Pisces, this is really difficult energy to navigate. And I feel like you did it um, with grace. I do. I feel like you you were willing to kind of do the work and put your head down and, and make the, the progress that you needed. And so now, with the star and changes, I feel it's almost like, I don't know if you're like coming out of your shell or what, but it feels like, you know, you've been kind of doing the shadow work and you've there have been kind of this transformation that I feel has happened within you. So let's get more on that changes with the star here. Current energy for Pisces. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. New opportunities are presenting themselves in your life but I don't know if you're fully able to see them yet. Because you're not taking action toward them. And these new opportunities are a result of the work that you've put in. Huh. Because there's the death kind of representing transformation, the ending of old seasons and the start of new seasons. You have the moon in reverse, working through fear. Um, you've been, these are things that have been happening. And now as a result of that, you're starting to see the changes in your life or you will start to see those changes um, start to present themselves in your life. So let's get a little bit more here. Oh, the Nine of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, wait, what? There's a two of swords. You have a choice to make here. A choice that that could lead to wish fulfillment. With the nine of pentacles, a choice that could lead to wish fulfillment. But it requires... It requires a new level of faith in yourself, 
of believing in yourself and your abilities that you wouldn't have been able to access if you hadn't been through this. You hadn't gone through what you did. So what I'm gathering from this is you're now being presented with an opportunity that you would have missed or failed at in the past because you weren't ready for it. You weren't ready then, but you're ready now. You had some work to do, but now you're ready. I don't know know what this is, though. I'm getting nosy, Pisces. What is this? The nine wish fulfillment. Ten of cups? Oh my gosh. Nine of pentacles and ten of cups, which is a product of the three of swords. This is the perfect example of sometimes the universe breaks us down to build us back stronger and align us with what it is that we desire. Like it literally is saying you are now getting into alignment with an opportunity that you never would have had before if you hadn't have gone through what you did back here. This three of swords carried a heavy purpose in your life. I mean, this is wish fulfillment. This is emotional fulfillment. But I'm curious because this all, get, receiving this all lies on a decision you have to make. And it's a decision that you're going to have to make different than your past self would. That's, that's the difference here. Is because you have, you've changed, Pisces. Based on this reading, your energy has changed. It's evolved. And this decision that you have to make in order for it to be the outcome that you desire, you have to make a different decision than past you would have made. So that's what all this is riding on. And it's like the universe is saying you weren't ready then, but you're ready now. So if you make this decision based on, on who you are now, this is what you can expect. So what can ex Pisces expect in their immediate future? What do, well, I guess, what does Pisces need to know regarding their immediate future? That's a better way to ask that. Does Pisces, because I want to I put the control in your hands. What does Pisces need to know regarding their immediate future? Recovery. Recovery. Like, like, getting back what was lost. Now, maybe in a different form. Getting back what was lost. Or, like, it's like, you won't be sad anymore. You won't be upset. You won't be disappointed anymore. It's like, this all happened. You spent a long time healing from this, working through this. Now you're being presented with an opportunity that you weren't ready for then, but you're ready for now. So you're making a decision based on who you are now, not who you used to be. And it leads to like recovery of what was lost or, or reco not, not necessarily what was lost in terms of like the same thing being returned, but the opportunity to, to feel the same way that you feel you've lost. The opportunity for love, the opportunity for abundance success, whatever it is. But one of the most important aspects of this is like you weren't ready before, but you're ready now. What does Pisces need to know regarding their immediate future? So I don't know. Oh, the hangman. There's the three of pentacles. Pieces coming together, pieces falling into place, letting go of control. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, because this decision has to be made out of faith. It's almost like, like you have to make the decision that requires you to lean on your faith in yourself and your faith in the universe more than you ever had before. And you wouldn't, it's like, yeah, you wouldn't have the strength or the ability to make the right decision for yourself if you hadn't been through what you have. And the more you let go of your control and you turn it over to the universe, the more the pieces start to fall into place. That's why luck is on your side because you start to believe, you know, luck, our luck in this life and what we're capable of, like what the, the good things that we're capable of experiencing is directly correlated to our belief that we're deserving of them or that we're capable or that the universe has our back um, in pursuit of those things. So that's why your luck changes for the better is because this healing that you've been through, it's almost like you've, you've, you've leveled up into a whole new version of yourself. And this new version of yourself has a higher level of wisdom. You've, you're at a, a whole new level of healing. You've grown, you know, you've evolved. And this, this evolved version of you is going to make decisions differently but like decisions that are better for you decisions that require you to know your worth to know that you're deserving to know that you're capable and those decisions that you make and it might not just be one big decision but like accumulation of a bunch of different decisions and it feels like that is what leads to the pieces starting to fall together so this has all been very divinely orchestrated to get you to where you want to go to get you to what it is that you desire But it requires you to let go of control and to put your faith in the universe and in the fact that the universe has your back here. And just know you're not going to be disappointed. That's for sure. Even if things don't turn out the way that you like expected them to or thought that you needed them to, you're not going to be disappointed. That's one thing you need to know. So that's why you need to let go of control is because I don't think things are going to turn out exactly like you expect, but I think they're going to be better. Immediate future for Pisces. So both of these we saw in the past, but they were both flipped. We had the Four of Wands in reverse with the Nine of Swords, and now you have the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Four of, I said Four of Swords, Four of Wands in reverse. Anyway, you have the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Four of Wands. It's almost like you now have a stronger foundation to build on. That's why the universe is saying that you are ready, because here's the thing. If you woke up, if you, if you were still dealing with these fears, doubts, and insecurities that you had from the past, right? We talked about a lot in the beginning how your experiences create your belief system. If you still had these beliefs that you're not deserving, not capable, not good enough, whatever the case is, and you invested and, and received all of that you desired, but you still had those feelings of insecurity, fear, and doubt, you would sabotage what it is that you received away like that. So that's why the universe didn't bring you what it is that you desired then, was because you weren't ready for it. But now you're ready for it. Now this new leveled up version of you can handle it and sustain it. And that's why the pieces start to fall into place. But they've actually been falling into place the whole time. You just haven't been able to see that because it's hard to look at the bigger picture, right? It's hard to see the bigger picture of everything when you're in the middle of it and it just feels like everything sucks and your life is falling apart because healing is a messy, messy experience. But, yeah, it just feels like this, this, everything that you've been through has prepared you for this. You've been prepared for these blessings that I feel are are going to start to, to trickle into your life. And it's because, it's and don't think of it, you know, as like, oh, the universe finally deems me deserving and worthy. No, it's you finally deem yourself 
deserving and worthy of these good things. You've been worthy all along, Pisces. That has never been a question. No one, this universe has never doubted that. You have doubted that, which has reflected into your life as receiving a hell of a lot less than what it is that you deserve. So this, yes, the universe has your back and has been supporting you and you know, these blessings from the universe, you know, kind of are, are going to be a gift to you, but it's because of the work that you've put in, which is why you deserve to be very proud of yourself for how far you've come. Because the good, and don't be surprised when good starts to happen, don't allow yourself to start to slip back in that mentality of, oh my gosh, I'm receiving so much good, I'm not deserving of it, because that's super easy to do. I can tell you for the longest time, I kind of lived in this life of lack and survival. And when good things started to happen to me and I started attracting good relationships into my life and um, my money started flowing to me easily, the first thing I did was start to second guess whether or not I was deserving of it. And I started to wonder, I mean, am I on the right track? Am I, you know, is this, is this, am I going to be able to sustain this forever? And I started, it's like my desires of not never getting to where I desired or my anxieties about me never getting to where I desired to be turned into anxieties about um, losing what it is that I had received. So don't allow yourself to, or don't be surprised when good things start to happen because you deserve it. You've deserved it all along, but now you know that a little bit more than you did in the past, which is why you're ready for it. Um, but okay. Really cool reading. We're going to hop on over to the extended. I'm going to clarify these messages, dive deeper into the situation and answer the question. So we just talked about what you need to know right now. This is going to be what you need to do right now to ensure you move forward in alignment with your higher self. The information for that is in the description box below. Thank you so much, Pisces, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. I very much enjoyed this reading. So I hope that you did too. And as always, Pisces, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Bye, Pisces.